Hey guys, what is up? This is Symmetry HD, and in today's Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the free Ivy Grower plugin. This is a really great plugin because one, it's free, and two, it's really featured pack and it's really simple to use. Um, you guys can use this in speed arts manipulations, and it's a really cool effect to add to uh, scenes. So, uh, as we can see here, Rieger Arts, uh, Ruger Arts, whatever, uh, made a uh, contest speed art for me, and he did the use the Ivy Grower plugin and it's a really cool plugin and it he incorporate really well into his speed art um, as you can see here it looks really nice it looks um, rustic and old so it's you know it's really easy um, but you know let's just delete this and uh, we'll just get a new text so we'll zoom out here uh, mo graph mo text we'll change this to Ivy and what we'll do is we'll go to font Typography Pro and go to Extra Bold and hit OK. Move this over to the center. We'll adjust our camera. And what we'll do is we'll add depth to about 50. And what we want to do now is we'll hit Control N, add a new material, and double click. And we're just going to add a rocky texture. Um, to add kind of it like on a rock if that's what you want to imagine it so we'll use we'll use this one cut rock hit okay what we'll do is we'll right click we'll put it as a sphere GI and hit a exit and drag it onto our uh, IV text then while our texture tag is open what you want to do is you want to go down here and type and make sure seamless is checked make sure side is on both and the projection to be on cubic. Once we do that, you can see that it adds uh, the a texture on both front, back, and sides of our text. Um, we're actually going to round out the edges with cap, so we'll just go add a fillet cap, bring it down to about one, and now we'll bring it up to two, and we'll just bring up the fillet caps like so, just to give it more of a rounded edge, and. Uh, what we want to do now is we actually want to use the plugin. So to do that, what we want to do is we want to go up here to our plugins and Ivy Grower. Now, if you guys want to go download this, um, it's like I said before, it's a free plugin. Link will be in the description, guys. It's simple to download. Um, but if you guys need help downloading it or installing it, leave me a comment. Um, but it's pretty easy to install. You just want to go to your Cinema 4D folder. You want to go to your Exchange plugins, plugins, and then drop it in there, and then that should be it. Um, if it's not in your plugins tab here, it may be in Python. And if it's in Python, you want to go to plugins, and it might be in here. If not, try uh, reinstalling Cinema 4D and the Ivy Grower, and then it should be there. Um, but anyways, we'll go to Ivy Grower. And once we do that, in our attributes tab over here, you can see that we have um, these options. And what we want to do is you want to go over here to our growth first. Um, now, these are already set up from before when I was doing it. Now, pretty much you can pretty much go you know you can customize this to every little thing you can you can pretty much control every little detail about it so pretty much depending on what you want or how big and you know you want this ivy grower to grow excuse me uh, you can do that so we're gonna stop it at we'll stop it at 1500 and that will stop the ivy from growing above 1500 uh, splines and we're gonna um, the ivy size that I like is 21 but we'll put this to 23 just to add a little bit more um, depth to our um, ivy. Um, if you guys want to copy this, you can. We'll change this to 30.00 and keep the random, you know, as you want to try to keep it as random as possible. And keep the gravity rate. We'll change the gravity weight to 1.5. And what this will do is. It, when we go to generate the splines, it will grow downwards more, more of a natural state. Um, so the higher you go, the more gravity will pull it down. Um, keep the branching des density at uh, fifth, uh, nine, 950, my mistake. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, then we want to go to over here to birth. And as you can see, it says branch size. Um, now, the branch size I liked was about 0.5. Uh, 0.6 actually now it may not seem like a lot but if we were to grow it big 
um, the branches would be really thick and you wouldn't be able to see the ivy. Um, the leaf size, we obviously want to be a little bit bigger than our branch, so I put that to 0.7 and keep the branch or the leaf density at 0.5. This will keep our branches nice and uh, even. Um, but before we do that, as you can see here on our screen, our mouse, it has a whole bunch of little dots and that's telling you that you're in the Ivy Grower Attributes tab. Now, if we double click, as you can see on our uh, text, we have to make sure our text is selected and double click. As you can see, we have this uh, yellow um, uh, selection here. Now, if you are colorblind or you can't really see that, what you can do is we can go back to our Ivy Grower. If we, uh, where is it? Uh, da -da -da -da. Should be in our basics tabs or, or hmm. Well, I can't find it. Hold on, we got to go back up here to plugins, Ivy Grower. And sorry about that, I don't know why it wasn't showing up. And what we want to do is if we want to change the color of this right here, we'll go down here to display colors and seed print. We'll change this to we'll change this to a red so we can obviously see it. As you can see, it stands out a lot better. And these two will show you the branch and the adhesive colors of when we actually go to grow the splines. Um, we can honestly change that, so we'll change this to we'll change this to bright neon green, and we'll change this to bright blue. And what we'll do is we'll um, go up here, and we'll double click. Uh, let's zoom in up here. We'll double click right on the edge of our text right there. And what we will uh, what we can do is we'll hit Grow Ivy. And as you can see, that once we hit Grow Ivy, it will grow and ra uh, randomly generate a whole bunch of splines. Now if you if there's too much and you want to stop it you can just hit stop growing. Now we had it set to 1500. Depending on how much uh, ivies you want depends on how much splines you want and depends you know pretty much depends on what you're doing. Um, but we just stopped a little bit short of that so once we do that you'll be you'll wonder um, why the ivy isn't there. Well to do that you want to go over here to our birth tab and hit give birth. Once we do that, you can see that it actually grows the ivy, and uh, and it puts it over the text. Now this is um, really nice. Um, I actually like the way this came out. Maybe the branch size could be a little bit bigger. It looks a little bit too small. Uh, but what we can do now is we can just go over here to our V, and we could try different settings. So we'll go to our um, branch size. We'll just turn this up to about let's try six point uh, point six five and uh, we'll double click here we'll hit grow ivy and we might stop this a little bit shorter than normal because I don't want too much ivy we'll hit stop growing birth and give birth and as you can see um, actually I actually like this branch size a lot better because it makes it look a little bit more natural um, I kinda like that um, that so we'll just uh, mess around a little bit more we'll hit grow ivy and stop growing ivy and give birth. As you can see, the quicker you grow, stop the ivy, the quicker the leaves get. Um, so actually, with this randomness, I kind of like it because it makes it more of a natural feel. Um, so we'll just keep double clicking and changing um, the effects. So we'll just let this one grow out almost completely, but we don't want to let it grow out of control. So we'll just wait till it reaches a good maximum height that we want, and uh, we will stop it and hit give birth and uh, as you can see it's looking pretty nice um, so this is pretty much the end of this tutorial um, if you guys do need any help like I said before leave a comment in the comment section below uh, leave me a personal message if you need anything regarding this tutorial or other tutorials um, if you need help installing le leave a comment um, but yeah guys if this tutorial is helpful please leave that like um, I um, it would be really appreciated um, and if you guys aren't already following me on Twitter, um, my Twitter is at SymmetryHD. Um, also, go like my Facebook page at Symmetry Tutorials, and go check out my Behance to check out all my uh, projects. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to Pan Motions um, for doing the Logic Networks welcome or um, promoted promotion video. Um, it looks really great, and you guys should definitely go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go check it out. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial, and uh, I'll see you guys later.